The ultimate goal of this video is to help carpenters gain more clients and make more sales. TNT is a relatively new two-man operation, and this is what has worked for us. We mainly make tabletops and sell hardwoods to pay the bills, but are willing to take on any challenge that seems fun. I hope this information is valuable to carpenters and really anyone starting their own business. If you find this video useful, hit that like button. And if you have any other tips or ideas that could help carpenters, please leave a comment below. This video will cover four key aspects of successful marketing. Building a portfolio, building a website, using social media platforms, and friction. In the digital age, having a portfolio of work is vital. This is important for both new and established carpenters. Document everything you do with photo or video. We do both. And when I say everything, I mean both projects and infrastructure upgrades. Here's the basic info you need to take good photos and videos. Lots of warm colored light, multiple angles, and multiple distances. If you are a new carpenter, we recommend building three to five examples of the products you want to sell, then use those examples to start your portfolio. Before we sold a single cutting board, we made a bunch of examples of all different types of wood. We didn't know which style or size would sell the best, so we just made all of them. We took photos and made a short video to add to our digital portfolio. What's nice about this is a future customer can just pick out what they want of something we already know how to do. We have repeated this three times now and plan to do this every time we want to try something new. Building your own website with a unique URL is still important because it adds validity to your work. Customers can go here and verify that you're a real business, verify you make what you're advertising, and you can have them learn anything you think is important about your work. Making a website is very easy. There are multiple places that can take all the hard work out of it. You just fill in info boxes and bam, your website looks awesome. Just to be clear, we are not sponsored by Squarespace, but we use that service and have gotten multiple compliments of how professional our website looks. 100% worth the $300 a year we pay. This section of the video may not be evergreen as social media platforms rise and fall. But the fundamental idea is post consistently on as many platforms as you can manage. Currently, our marketing engine is primarily driven by Facebook and Instagram, but TikTok and LinkedIn have also led to sales. I want to explain how we use each platform in an effort to save you some time figuring it out. You don't need to spend any money on boosting posts. Facebook is useful in two ways. First and most important is that you can list items for sale anywhere you want for free in the Facebook marketplace. You can post as many marketplace ads as you want, just so long as your first picture in each ad is a new picture. This is our primary sales generator. The second way Facebook is good for marketing is that you can join groups and post your content on them. TNT joined a woodworkers group for our local area, and we post shipments of hardwoods whenever they arrive. Fellow woodworkers see this and know what we have for sale at the time. One thing to note is that not all groups allow direct advertising. Some groups only allow photos and videos of your work. But that's okay, because if someone's interested in your stuff, they will easily be able to reach you through Facebook. Instagram is a popular way to make a digital portfolio, and they allow you to have a shop on your page. We have taken plenty of orders through Instagram DMs. It is really important to post consistently and always include a bunch of hashtags that are relevant to your products. I have all my tags on a notepad and just copy and paste them every time I post. We try to post on each individual platform at least three times a week. If I could only pick one platform to use, it would be Facebook. 
but again, that could change in the future. If you want to take a deep dive into social media marketing, I highly recommend studying Gary Vee's content. Now let's talk about friction. Friction in the marketing context is easy to understand. How easy is it for your customer to understand your advertisement, make a decision, and buy your product? This really ties together all the aspects of this video. I'm going to give you guys some basic pointers that reduce friction. Always include easy to understand prices. Also, always include information about the dimensions of your product. One thing to also make sure of is that all your social media platforms link to your main website. And when you're posting on social media, limit it to one product per post. I hope this video helps some people make more money. Stay tuned. Yeah.